for my invitation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you some of the first results of my work uh, concerning the archaeology of Second World War uh, in the area of South Moravia. South Moravia is the uh, eastern part of Czech Republic. Uh, first, I'll talk briefly about uh, Festung Brin and uh, the city of Brno itself. Brno or Brin in German is the capital city of region of South Moravia. For German, it was an uh, important source of railways and important industry center. Especially significant was an arms industry. Uh, for that reason, it was certified by German army at the end of the war. This fortification, instead of further fortifications, managed to turn Brno into a comparable Festum Green. Uh, there are two reasons why I have focused on Festum Green, whereas both have played the same role. First, several rescue excavations have unearthed several hundred meters of trenches, making the uh, whole fortification system one of the finest examples of excavated fortifications in Czech Republic. Second, in the last year, Czech Office for Surveying, Mapping and Pedestal have published historical photos from the 1940s, which at least partly depicts an area of Brno and its surrounding. Uh, now I am going to briefly talk about history. Um, trenches in Brno were dug because of two reasons. At first, they started to be prepared during December 1944, when frontline was closing near to the area of Czech Republic. Those trenches, those are the trenches uh, which constituted Festum Green. Uh, however, several trenches on the northern border of the city were dug at the end of uh, April 1945. When the, front, when the front stopped here for several days. This break in fighting allowed to build trenches here. Uh, liberation of the region of Morava and Brno is connected <coughs> to the Bratislava Brno operation, which aimed to conquer the whole area of South Slovakia and South Moravia. Uh, you can see advance of the front here. Uh, the whole operation started on 25th march at the Brun River in North Slovakia and reached uh, Moravia on 5th April. Brno was seized after heavy fights on 26 April 1945, however uh, brain was not much used during these fights. Historians often mention fortifications around Brno. Nobody knows the precise implication and extent of it. As far as we know, there are no historical sources regarding it. For a long time, we only uh, knew that trenches were somewhere around Brno and that several thousand men from mostly boys and men from Bohemia were digging it. We also don't know how the defense was planned. For example, whether Germans exploited the landscape, or if they were able to fortify the whole area around the city, or if they focused on several resistance nests. So to these questions, digital archaeology could bring answers. In this work, the results of excavations, aerial photogrammetry, radar, and speech analysis will be presented. However, results will be shown only on several examples. So, uh, there is not much to say about excavations. So far, only rescue excavations have unearthed the remains of trenches. There has not been an intentional ex excavation of trench. Therefore, excavation methods uh, that have been used have been only sampling. Several sections, uh, like here, uh, have been excavated. Uh, large parts of trenches have been only mapped via GPS. With, with GPS. Despite this fact, these excavations help us to find some benches uh, which were not uh, photographed uh, or confirm interpretation of crop marks or even provide more detailed insight into the reconstructions like for example uh, they can document uh, uh, fire steps which are not seen in the aerial images. Uh, 
uh, we will distinguish two main categories within the aerial photographs contemporary and aerial uh, photographs. Contemporary images could be found uh, on web based ortho photo maps, uh, which could be found on Google Maps or uh, their generation map it says that. Uh, these photos are useful for observation of actual built up area, which shows us the destruction of trenches. However, crop marks uh, or even preserved trenches can be rarely found on these images. Uh, historical aerial photographs are the most important uh, source of the data. Thanks to work of Czech Office of Survey and Mapping uh, we can use technologies from the years 1946, 1947, 1948, and 1953. Our only photographs from 1953 depict the whole area of uh, Berlin. The former photographs depict only parts of the city, as we may see on the map, uh, especially the southwest border of the city and uh, east uh, and south of the city. Uh, on the other hand, uh, these uh, photographs have better resolution than those from 1953 and they were taken soon after the war when more trenches were still preserved. Generally speaking, uh, the service started in close proximity to sites north of excavations and then it uh, continued to go to the whole area of the ground. The last of the present slide are for aerial SS scanning. Thanks to SS scanning, we have the fifth uh, generation of digital terrain model in Czech Republic, which uses land-weighted regular network with 2 meter resolution. In the case of favorable conditions, I direct into the trench. However, uh, radar is useful especially because of the mentioned digital terrain model, uh, which have been used for special analysis. Uh, all available data have been gathered in Argus software, which have been used for further processing. At first, the data from excavations have been uploaded in the form of shape uh, file online. Then, all the photos and uh, digital elevation models, which depict trenches, have been uploaded, and uh, then two shapes files uh, have been deleted. First one has been used for digitalization of uh, unquestionable trenches. Uh, this means the trenches which were either preserved at the time when the photographs were was taken or crop of trenches which were which have been confirmed by excavation. Uh, the second one uh, shape file has been used for digitalization of uncertain trenches, uh, thus trenches which are known only in front of crop marks. Uh, also, the extent of former Brno and southern villages have been realized. <coughs> the aerial images from 1953, which is a small city, have been used for work digitalization. However, if there were trenches nearby the built up area, and if there is all the photograph available, this folder which have been used instead. Here you can see uh, an example of digitalization of part of the system. On the output map, the colors combine the friend state of preservation or the source data. Red trenches here uh, uh, were registered uh, during excavation. Here is a uh, plan from excavation. The row trenches uh, can be found on radar and therefore they are preserved nowadays. They are here and uh, Hopefully, seen here a little bit. Uh, brown trenches uh, were preserved uh, when historical the photo was taken, like here, and let's say here. And the green trenches were documented uh, thanks to group marks on, the, on those photographs. Special analysis, at this moment, special analysis help us to determine the relation between trenches and landscape. Also, they, they can determine uh, the combat value of this fortification. Especially two special analyses have been used. Slope, which supports uh, digital elevation model in landscape analysis, and view shed, which can show us what defenders could see from trenches. 
several offsets of different heights of observer and uh, target have been tested. Here you can see the wall fortified area around the city of Brno. There have been uh, around 1400 meters of tenches registered during excavations. Almost uh, one and a half kilometer of trench is preserved uh, over the base. It's here, and partly here, and uh, here. Uh, historical photographs that it's more than 13 kilometers. Uh, 5,015 5, meters are well preserved at the time when photos were taken. So overall length of documented trenches is more than 15 kilometers. We may see that especially south edge of the uh, city uh, was heavily fortified. There are at least two lines of trenches, perhaps uh, here to uh, uh, from this direction, uh, the Germans were expected the uh, Russian attack. Further, I will talk uh, especially about several parts of this fortification, uh, about the regions of the southeast, south, southwest, east, and northwest of the city. Here only two examples of digitalized trench. On the left image, you can see trench, uh, which is known thanks to crop marks uh, on uh, contemporary photo, or better say, from on the photo from 2006, and on uh, historical photo from 1953. Uh, on right. Uh, there is an uh, example of preserved trenches uh, which are visible on the radar, still part here, for example, or here, and are uh, also uh, well photographed on aerial image from 1953. Uh, I will demonstrate the result of special analysis uh, on selected larger fortified areas. Uh, we can see that the Germans tried to exploit uh, the landscape, thus they stated the fortification on hills and along the road. You may see it, uh, especially here are trenches uh, on the slope or here on the it's called it ridge. If possible, those trenches were dug on top of steep slopes. Again, you may see it here, 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 and here. Uh, another example uh, is uh, on the left. Uh, uh, again, trenches stated in, in uh, let's say, hilly area north of Brno. However, there are no suitable hills uh, south of Brno, as you can see on the right. Uh, uh, so, at the place of those elevation, the trenches were dug uh, in front of civilian buildings. Uh, this is the places uh, here and uh, here. Uh, perhaps. Uh, uh, the trenches were uh, built here uh, to make the uh, observation difficult. Uh, you should show us uh, that very large areas could be observed from the trenches. For creation uh, of the one we can see, uh, only trenches from aerial photographs were used. Uh, the height of the target has been set to 1.8 meters, and you may see that uh, uh, really uh, Germans could observe a really large uh, area in front of their trenches. Although we can compare the size of trenches with each other, as you can see. Uh, on the left and on the middle image, 
the stretches could be seen from one to the other. The special trenches uh, on the southeast border of Brno had clear view of another trenches uh, east or south of Brno. Uh, we can say something similar about the trenches east of Brno, which uh, could observe small volley here to the trenches uh, which are let's say part of uh, of southeast fortification <coughs> you should help us also to determine the role of some trenches for example the fortification of the northwest edge of city uh, Brno is uh, here uh, this fortification should protect this direction from encirclement because uh, here the area which could be seen uh, was supposed to become a German highway. Uh, although it was not finished, still it could uh, make a great approach to the city and encircle it. And I think that's the reason why there are trenches here. This slide shows us that really large parts of Western Green have been disturbed recently due to the construction of works. Uh, we may suppose that there is nothing left of uh, the trenches south and southeast of Brno. Uh, we may see uh, highways or buildings that are um, on spots where trenches have been. So uh, we may. To conclude, this work shows us that Western Brain uh, was an extensive fortified system which was very planned. Uh, also, we may suppose that large parts of it uh, are uh, probably destroyed, so uh, these old photos are one of, uh, or perhaps only one option how we can reconstruct this fortification. Uh, However, we are still at the beginning of the survey. It is first application of these methods on the war relics in Czech Republic. Uh, this work shows a great potential of historical aerial photographs, which is by the fact they were taken several years after the war, they could search for five areas. Uh, special analysis are suitable for the evaluation of location of fortification and their combat value. Uh, the work is still at the beginning. Uh, we may continue to analyze the trenches more depth. Uh, so uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention.